was coming across Arkansas just a while ago, and I'd been out west for a week or so. I just come through Little Rock, and I was making real good time. Came up on the back of this Dallas Memphis mail truck, and apparently the driver saw the cross in my grill through his mirror. He picked up the microphone and he said, well, pass the plate and pay the lady. You know, it just run all over me. I could feel the hair raise up on the back of my neck. I picked up the microphone and I said, driver, I think it's a dirty, rotten shame that you compare what Jesus Christ did on the cross for you with some, what somebody else might have done. Radio was kind of quiet, but God was keeping a clear channel and couple minutes he came back to me and he said preacher is it real and I said yes driver it's real but I still didn't want to talk to him I was kind of upset with him about the way he talked about the cross and what Christ had done and a couple minutes went by again and he came back again he said preacher how do you know that it's real I said, driver, I used to leave home with a fifth of rum sitting between my legs and a bottle of speed up on the dash and two cartons of cigarettes to make sure that I didn't run out from truck stop to truck stop. And there wasn't hardly anything I wouldn't do or say. But you know, when Jesus Christ came into my life, I never needed to know that no more. A couple minutes, he came back to me and he said, preacher, would you pull over and pray with me? I want to be saved. I said, yes, driver, I will. I found a mile marker, and I told him where I was at, and I said, I'll wait right here for you. I heard him say, I can't believe that I'm running wide open through Arkansas to get that man to pray with me. As he came up, I said, driver, you got to pray from your heart and not your head. You gotta mean what you say. As he pulled up and stepped out of the truck, we began to pray. And I know that my brother accepted Jesus that day. Before too long, we was back in the truck and on the road again. I went back to him on the microphone and I said, Driver, how do you feel? He said, with every mile that I drive, I feel that much better. I said, driver, if I never see you on this earth again, I'll see you in heaven. God bless you in Jesus' name.